Morning everyone, Diamond Peter here. Sorry again if you can hear the fan. It's very hot here again today, so I have the fan on in the background. I just thought I'd pop in and show you a couple of things that I've, well, I've one completion and, um, or a few small completions, and then I'll, I'll show you what else I'll be working on. It is Tuesday the 23rd here. It is midday, so I'm just about to go and have some lunch. Um, I finished my little Peter Rabbit yesterday. It's so easy to do. <laughs> He's so tiny, fits in the palm of my hand. But yeah, he was so cute and so he was so much fun to do. And I just thought he was so sweet. So that was from Craft Buddy Crystal Art. Um, it's licensed art, so yeah. I'm going to stick him on my desk. He's going to sit at the back there for the moment. I will get some more Easter things done to join him very soon. Now, the other thing that I've been doing is I've been working on some Easter earrings. I'm just going to move it down a little bit so you can have a closer look. So I've done one, two, three, four, five pairs. Uh, these are really fun to do. I love doing these. They're so much, they're awesome. They're so much fun. Um, I've got some little gonks to do. These little gonks. These ones. And I have the little chickens to do. They're all, that's all I've got to do. And then I'll be finished these. Now... I'm going to show you one at a time. I might have to turn the light off for these. So that's the bunny, one of the bunnies, double-sided. Obviously there's two of them, but I'm just going to show you the one. There's the egg. And we have the carrot. I need to seal these and then put the earring pieces in the top, which I will do very soon. That one, he's holding a carrot. Little gonk with rabbit ears holding a carrot. And then we have our little rainbow egg, bunny egg. They're cute too. So as I said before, you could wear, if you wanted to, you could wear a carrot and a rabbit, one in each ear. Um, you could swap them up. You could have a, a bunny in one ear and an egg in the other ear. Now with these, there's a couple of things I've noticed. They're very sticky. And when you are holding them down to diamond paint them, the glue lifts up on them so you need to be very careful if you get these because they're very very sticky and it doesn't take much for the glue to lift up the other thing is I've run out of cup ran out of a couple of colors it doesn't bother me because I have so many uh, diamonds I keep all my diamonds um, which I'm glad I do because I ran out of two colors yeah so I ran out of the orange which is V um, which I had plenty of so I found some more and put them in there. I'm going to run out again, I think, because there's a lot of others, a lot of other V's on the other earrings to go, but I've got some more so I can get those. And I ran out of a yellow, oh, now I'm dropping them. Ran out of a yellow, which is M. Just put these back in there. Um, now, I had to do the best I could with these. The ones that I, I started out with, which were these ones you can see the yellow looks very clear and shiny I had to put these ones on the egg and they're not quite as shiny the ones that I had weren't quite as shiny they're a little bit dull but that was the best I could do I do have others um, I just need to find them but I figure once they're sealed they should be fine but yeah um, most of these have V's and M's on a lot of these to go there's, a, there's quite a few on that one too. So, yeah, so they're the two colours that I ran out of, the orange and the yellow. So if you're a new diamond painter, that's probably not a good thing because you probably don't have extra diamonds like I do left over. So just be aware if you buy these that you may run out of the diamonds. Um, when I put the orange in the container uh, and even the yellow, I noticed that they were pretty low and I thought, thought to myself then well these earrings have a lot of yellow and a lot of orange on them so yeah so just be aware of that but um I will be sealing these very soon I use my I got this from a hardware store here in Australia it's a clear acid free boil uh it's boil brand and it's a finishing sealer so I just take them outside I can't do it inside obviously it stinks take them outside, put them on plastic on an air dryer thing or like a, a clothes dryer thing 
and I spray one side and let them dry for a few hours and then turn them over and spray the other side. So yeah, but that spray works really well for these smaller projects for these earrings and stops the stickiness because they're very sticky. You can see how sticky they are, they're very sticky. Um, and then I will put the jump rings and the hooks on them and then they're ready to go. They're ready to wear for Easter. So that's my earrings. They're the ones I have finished and they're the ones I need to finish. And my little Peter Rabbit at the back there. So that's pretty much all I've been working on today. So, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd pop in and do this quick video and I'll get this one up. Uh, I will do a whip and chat, as I said, I just haven't felt like doing a whip and chat. Um, I probably will in the next few days because I've got a couple things that I thought might be interesting that we can have a bit of a chat about. So, yeah, I'm going to go and have some lunch. Um, while I'm eating my lunch, I might watch some more of your videos. And, um, yeah, I have, I'll have i probably have a few more shout-outs too when I, uh, when I do come back on next time. I've got um, a couple more that I would like to do. Uh, thank you so much for following those um, those ladies that I gave a shout out to the other day. I noticed their numbers have have gone up, so that's wonderful. Um, Debbie from Debbie Gets Crafty. Hi, Debbie. Debbie reached her 500 milestone. Well done. Congratulations, Debbie. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, so let's try and boost some of the other channels to get up there as well. It's, it's really hard. It's a hard slog. I think I'm at 383 now um, subscribers but as I said I'm not I'm not too worried about the numbers it doesn't really bother me I'm doing this for fun um, it's certainly not going to get paid for it but um but it's nice to it's nice to have you know people that watch your videos and comment and I will get to the comments guys I'm sorry I just haven't haven't done that either I've been very busy this morning I've been uh, applying for jobs and um, you know what it's like I've been on the computer for some of the morning as well and uh, I got a phone call this morning about a little bit of casual work which um, I'm happy with but it's not until March or April so I sort of still need to need to get some work for next month for February because um, yeah I need to so I'm hoping that I can when the schools go back here next week I'm hoping I can pick up some casual days which will be nice that will tide me over and keep me going. I don't necessarily need a contract. I'd be happy doing casual, but I need to make sure that I'm doing a certain amount of days a week to earn money to pay my bills, obviously. So, um, but yeah, casual work. I mean, I'm, I'm open to that. I'm fine with that. This lady that spoke to me this morning did say that there might be some more work available. So, you know, fingers crossed. Uh, it's in a childcare centre, so it's not actually a proper, like a big school. <laughs> it's a smaller school, which I'm fine with. I'm doing my certificate three in early childhood uh, education this year. So as soon as you say you're doing the certificate, people jump on you to work because not a lot of people are qualified, obviously. So, uh, and they'd like, and working around young children, of course, they need you to be qualified. So, and I have all the requirements we have to have a special working with children check here in Australia I don't know if that's other countries or whether it's just Australia but having worked in a school I already have mine so I can work with children we have to have a police check which takes six weeks to go through but because I already have a currently current one and I'm working in a school they're okay with that um, I have to have proof that I've enrolled in the course that I'm I've enrolled in which I have so that's that's fine but yeah there's a lot of paperwork it's not just simply just walking in and asking for you know for work for any casual work you have to have all the paperwork that goes with it and I mean we're working with children so you have to have these specific things because you don't want just anybody working with your child and I wouldn't either so so that's where you know I'm lucky because I have all that and it's uh, I have my first aid I have everything um, we have to do first aid training. We have to do anaphylaxis training um, with EpiPens so that, you know, obviously if a child has a reaction, we need to know what to do. So we need to do all that training and I have all that 
because I've done all that with the school recently. So um, I think it was the last day, the last week I was there, I think I did the training for that. So that was, um, that came in handy because it does me for another 12 months. And then I can just do training in the next 12 months with, you know, wherever I'm employed. So... Yeah, so anyway, a um, bit of a waffle there. Sorry, guys, <laughs> didn't plan on that, but, you know, I just thought I'd let you know what was happening. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe to all those other lovely channels out there, and um, I will talk to you again very soon. I'm off to have some lunch. Bye, everyone.